I deleted every single factory in the game and after conquering Europe and creating a monster, I tried fighting it and it was pain. There's a few prime candidates for this. Number one would obviously be the protagonist, Germany, mainly because you just got 12 factories here. War Econ relatively early, plus, you know, you can get hungry in Romania. And if I disabled the DLCs, that would be even better for them because then they get the generic focus tree. Hugo is another very good option just because of the limited self-government and then you release nine nations and everybody does their generic focus tree and then you annex them. That would be a very valid strategy. We are Poland today. I also thought a little bit about which path I want to choose. I kind of wanted to go with democratic simply because that's a path that you would never ever pick and then I looked at it and not even for this game I want to pick it <laughs> because it's just like you do nothing here. We're just gonna do one of the two good Poland paths. I mean one of the two good Poland ideologies unaligned and i don't even have to build anything with our factories we should first get factories so let's actually get a new polish industry first also i i disabled nato symbols for you and i just feel disgusting like what is this what what why do you look so weird? Just be symbols and stripes. That's something I can deal with. I can stomach it as long as I don't get puppet divisions. And suddenly I have pawn divisions and I don't know what these are. I guess also doesn't have factories so they can't resist. But still a bit stupid to submit to Italy. Although I guess I can say that in general. Do you have to worry about a little bit about the looming peasant strike? Because like 50% consumer goods factories. Oh my god. No. Whatever will I do when I lose 50% of my consumer goods factory? Wait, we already have two. Where did we get? Did, did we get two from? Oh, we already have two factories. Poland strong. Poland biggest economy in world. Four factories already. The game is over. You can go home now, Germany. There's no way you can contest with this. Especially if you don't rush down to Hermann Göring Werke. I guess I'm gonna do it now already. I just don't want to get messed up by the democratic and communist support. I'm gonna get the army defense guy first. This is pretty much useless to get either of these tags. But what else am I gonna research now? I thought about getting this, but no. I don't want four naval dockyards. That's just clogging up Sith factories for me. Let's do the political tree. The Regency Council. Also, I am perfectly fine with capitulating today, so I'm not even gonna worry about any broken Poland strategy that I usually do. I'm not gonna fall over, but if Germany takes me, then... <gasps> no, but bureaucrat! If Germany just rolls over us, I will just say, okay, yeah, that's fine. Last time we played Poland, I found out there is actually something on the very far right of this tree. And you just get a stupid amount of factories, which I really wouldn't say no to. These two focuses, that's 13 factories. Twice the amount of factories that we have right now. Plus, it's gonna be off map, so we're gonna keep it forever. Who do we need? Friedrich Christian. House of Wetten. That sounds very good. Yes, here's our king. More PP. Krakowski is also pretty good. Okay, so I want Krakowski. I want the captain of industry. Ah, let's get the captain of industry first. Haha, <laughs> we're already producing with three factories. The UK is sitting at 13 to 17 factories. I guess they get a bunch from their puppets. And immediately we are sitting at another factory. That was worth it. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of the economy debuffs. Let's clamp Danzig. I guess I could have done this earlier. So we get resistance. But I can also just click the thing twice. One thing I'm interested in is how much this will affect the Second World War. Because Germany is probably going to be delayed quite a bit. Seeing as they won't get factories. So they won't have... Yeah, okay, World War II is going to take quite a bit until it kicks off. Although the Soviets will just justify on us regardless. Uh, in which case, I hope the allies are gonna help defend us. I assume we need 100 monarchy support. No, we need 80 monarchy support. Okay, so it shall be then. Wait, what? Don't tell me Lithuania can... Okay, I thought they didn't resist. Why? You're being liberated. Oh fuck, I forgot about it. I forgot about this thing again. You know, it's hard being a content creator. All right, so I'm just gonna have this screen open until we're done click button fuck oh we can do we can do multiple ones at the same time sure take some factories and some generals factory this button this plan backfired <laughs> fuck i can't do the rest of my focus tree now well this sucks would it make for good content if you're weak i mean i don't even fucking know if this game as it is makes for good content because like we're at 24 factories in 1939 <laughs> and most of them are sif factory yeah look at this even if lithuania has five sif factories that's not gonna change anything 
thing here. I guess I wasted PP. You lost to Ethiopia without any factories. They have free set factories, brother. It's June 1939 and Austria still exists. <laughs> Zizlav Lubomirsky. Okay, yeah, the Soviets are expanding and the Allies are just sitting on their asses, as expected of. Well, that explains a little bit. For what if we give the Stalin a piece of Scotland? Maybe then he'll stop. But the justification of the Soviets should come in any minute now, because Poland still exists and it's 1940, and the Soviets really don't like that. At least we don't really have to worry about the Germans attacking us. There we go. Just as I said it. Allies, please. Come on. 25% world tension. Hop up. They are gonna steamroll us insanely. The Soviets have their 120 units that they start with in their army, and and we have 30 divisions. I guess we can prepare for the next war. It will come. Huh? Okay, I... No. What? 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 <laughs> Hitler does not have enough military equipment to Anschluss. So he went down his focus tree. And because he can't Anschluss, there's only one other path he can pick. We will not surrender Poland without a fight. Oh my god, your units are not looking fresh at all. Did you run out of food as well and your units had to eat your horses? I'm gonna stick with Grand Battle Plan. There we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oomph into our divisions as well. And then we can just pump out 5 billion of these. Germany will not like us because we have a war that they may be drawn into. I have bad news, Hitler. You already are in this war. We could try and push up here and then cut Germany off. Would be kind of pointless because Germany and the Soviets are our enemies. So if they fight each other, that's pretty good for us. Actually, we could get Lithuania. There actually is a benefit to this. But for now, I'm just gonna do the small encirclement strategy again. Wait, what's the requirement for this? Lithuania is the subject of Poland. I'm not sure this was intended. There we go. You're in power again. And my friends, it is... No, our industry is too big now. I wouldn't even have factories to spare if I wanted to. Actually, it only costs consumer goods. I guess Turkey would have been busted as well. Italy will be at war with Romania and... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need more manpower in the field. Ah! No, that's not what I wanted to see. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted. Oh, uh, Italy might declare war on Hugo. These borders are gonna turn very messy very quickly. You know what? Convoy escort, I guess. Our oh, well, two destroy. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's escort with two destroyers. Yes, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth has been reborn. Thank God I know about history, because I don't think we would have seen it otherwise. I can't bypass it, but it has no effect. And then we can also seize East Prussia, which does nothing. We can claim Greater Lithuania, which does nothing. We can form Greater Lithuania, which does something. How did the Soviets do this? Sure, you have a bit of a deficit at the start, but still, it's not that bad. It might also be worth it to build some very cheap motorized or use the garrison horses. It's like, look at this, there's nothing on this front. Oh, we can also do the conscription stuff here, which will give us a few units. They're not really good units, but they are units, which means men. <laughs> and you know how much I love men. Fuck! Just with the amount of men we have here, we should be able to push over here now. And then it should be easy because then we have the supply hub plus we are over the river. It's time we do some damage here. The Germans have pushed far enough. Nice! That is actually sad. When did this war kick off? A year ago? Yeah, one and a half years ago. And three million men died. That's something you do within the first two months usually. Let's do something like this here. So long as you don't get encircled, I am fine with what you do. You go here, please. There we go. More tanks for us. That's something I also considered, that Italy will just do naval invasions here. We'll see how much this actually matters. I mean, we have 40% war score already. I guess we're also gonna push with these guys in here. It's not gonna matter too much, but we could get the ins. There we go. That way I'm just gonna auto this front. Yo, look at our industry though. 25 Civ factories to produce with? You can't even tell that we had no factories at the beginning of the game. This is Saturday than the Russian front. The south has been cleared up. You guys can go back up. Austria still exists. The only thing you would have had to change in order for Austria and Ethiopia to survive is just delete every single factory in the world. Very simple, really. If I'm a time traveler at any point, I will just do this. I'll just tell Kurt that he should delete every Austrian factory. I guess then there's also not really any reason for Hitler to invade. All right, you lot can finally push into Crimea. 
I don't want to bother with the straight. We're still pushing, but I kind of want to stop and give them planning bonus. But I mean, so long as we're pushing, I can't really complain about it. Do we have enough units in field now? Yes, we can do Mijimorje. Yo, Poland is just so busted. Then again, like usually this is dead, this is dead, this is dead and your enemy. This is dead. I guess you can get Turkey. This one is already your enemy. This one is dead and... <sighs> That's just the Nordics. Oh no, he's stuck on resistance suppression. He's not gonna Anschluss. Never mind. Brother. Come on. How do you have 40 factories? Don't tell me I have to start a two-front war to make this interesting. Why can't they not bypass this one then? Kind of a waste. My favorite part about playing non-aligned nations is just seeing this. Fascism banned, Democratic Party's banned, Communism banned. Encirclement, please. And now clean it up. Anschluss of Austria. Wow. And he does reassert Eastern claims. Japan is out. They still have war goals. Of course, my favorite Chinese core, the Middle East again. <laughs> there we go. I invoked Norway. I summoned Quisling. Oh, nice. Abandoning Czechoslovakia actually gave us a core. It's all been worth it. You would rather stand alone than with us. Wow. German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pact. I don't think you need to formalize that pact anymore at this point. I think you made that clear when you declared war on them four years ago. Germany? Okay. Allies? Do you... Ah, shit. They're not gonna guarantee us. What are we gonna do? Because we need 2% more to cap the Soviets, but it's the Soviets, so 2% at this point means we are invading Vladivostok. I could just give up Danzig. <laughs> no. Over a million dead Polish bodies. Thank you, Soviets, for showing some decency. That was an okay peace deal. I think that was fair. Are you scared because you're already war of Turkey? Well, boo-hoo. Guess who joined the war? And guess who's not on the front line? Because he's playing like an AI. Okay, guys, come on. Come on. You finished the encirclement and then you just all left. Yeah, shift's over. Okay, guys, I'm going. I guess this Germany is not what I expected. Nah, no Italian civil war. Oh, wow, that, that is a shame. That is a shame very much indeed. I guess we'll have to take it ourselves. Another very fair peace deal. Polish Lithuania in Germany, Polish Lithuania in Czechoslovakia, Polish Lithuania in Italy. But our destiny does not lie with Poland today. I believe it lies with England. Audio jungle. I am so ultimately insanely pissed right now. I wanted to just make this game a little bit more interesting. Thing. So I did research all, but as it turns out, that's not a very good idea because if you do this, it will research all. Now I assumed like, okay, that's just the tech tree, but if you've played Hearts of Iron for a little while, you might remember that doctrines is also considered research. It used to be research anyway. If you type in research all, all of this will be researched. So this Poland had every single doctrine with every single unique path, plus all of the special forces, plus both industry techs. They had 100,000 planes at some point. I had motorized divisions that couldn't penetrate some crappy mountaineers they had. I, I was just going insane, like what am I doing wrong? Poland is in a very prime spot with their 170 factories and 3 million manpower. I gave proper planes to Poland. They have a bunch of temples that they can use and we are gonna playing as England with the allies to bring democracy to Europe and the world. Also, first thing we do is we send all of our units over here. We're gonna stack up the navy. We are gonna dismiss the planes. One thing I found out is that marines are actually busted because we had big trouble, like insane trouble with pushing anything. But the marines, they could just push into France. That is the bread and butter. Can dismiss these. And now we just move the Malayan troops first. I return them because I don't want to bother with this crap. We do have armored cars. I guess we can use these for garrisons. The rest of the focus tree is not... I mean, this one is pretty cool. A bit more air, air XP gain and all that. But I'm gonna get suppressed subjects just to get a bit more factories from them as well. Now we just need to fix the country that the AI gave us or that I took from the AI. Which you can tell by some of these 
paths that they took with their MIOs. Now that I think about it, I am tempted to just annex Malaya already. How much do you need? 460. All right. Um, Lend lease. Because these units that they're sending us are just annoying. Oh, wait a minute. We have a few marine templates. That one's pretty good. That one is even better. That one is even better. The thing that makes the marines so insane is just the pioneers. They are engineers, but on crack. All marines get 15% breakthrough. Admittedly, that's not a lot. A single marine has nine breakthrough, but still. And then we just pump out a few of those. We are gonna justify on Poland. And then as soon as the war goal is ready, we are gonna kick the war off. Even if we're not fully prepared. Makes the thing a little, at least a little bit more interesting, you know? If we have to fight and we're not just gonna steamroll them. If you don't subscribe right this instant, I will wake him up. I think that just really grinds my gear. Army XP, man. I want more of it. You know, like we're, we're still missing doctrines. We're still missing special forces doctrines. Like I don't have any truck divisions. I don't have planes right now. I mean, we do have planes, but let's be honest. There we go. We don't have planes. All right, declare war, call everybody in. What I want to see here is a Blitzkrieg. I will say with every doctrine, they did steamroll France very quickly. Yeah, I forgot about it again. <laughs> Losing all of Africa though? No, let's defend it. Ah, fuck, I forgot Turkey is part of this block as well. I guess then there's no real point with pushing into Syria. Yeah, we're just gonna leave these guys here and you can take out Libya. Is that scorched earth? But you're not even in Sinai. How can you scorch earth my own country? Yeah, I'm just gonna pump everything into trucks for now until we have jet engines. Oh, well, the jet, what is it, what is it called? Super power plane frame. Modern airframe? Probably modern airframe. That would be fire if all the names for your army is just some cringe anime bullshit. Churchill, Churchill. Hitler is starting his attack on Russia. Okay, nothing to worry about. Well, Yes, there is one thing to worry about. They have started deploying the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Liebe. With that, we have cleared up North Africa. We still have Egypt to defend. What are you doing? Oh, you're stuck in the Magino. L. And then let's clear up this piece. I don't really like the range, but I do know that this Poland has good fighter. So we just have to kind of try and beat them by value instead of actual usefulness. And it's gonna be hard because everybody started with the same factories. Zero. Is America actually being competent? Yeah, very much so. Then we get our marines. One marine stack that I'm interested in. Or should we get two marine stacks? Second marine stack? Eh, we don't have enough forces for a second marine stack. Why? There we go. That is the one that I was missing. Ooh, an auto research button would be pretty cool. Like, especially for something like this late game, where you can just be like, all right, just research whatever. And so far, they have more factories and they have much more units than we do. And America is also giving them more men. Look at this. There's nobody here. I draw arrow. I say you go and you just rush and Take a beachhead. As much land as you can before the Germans and the Poles arrive. If they don't have every doctrine, then this is so much easier. What the fuck is this? Poland has insane fighters. Come on. I did the exact same thing. They were trading evenly or slightly above evenly. You know, like, not like 10 to 1, which they do right now. But it doesn't really help. We do need a bit more cast to hold. So I guess we can also get some cast out there. We're gonna get all of the casts that we can in here. Oh my god, we actually have 1,000 casts here. Now we should be able to hold. Yep, the cast helps. Because it's a new patch, I was legitimately scared that they fixed the AI, that the AI is now smart, because Poland also, half of their divisions were tanks. Uh, sure, that was in 1960, but still, things were getting dangerous. Uh, things are dangerous right now. Oh yeah, I can still play this game. Oh, I get, as a content creator of Hearts of Iron, if, if I can't play Hearts of Iron, if I'm not good enough at it, then like, what? What's my identity? I'll have to, like, develop a personality. <laughs> and Poland is out of airframes. Canada is contributing quite a lot of war score. Are they just ramming into the AI here? Probably. Just force attacking. We can also try our hands at the McDonald's proposal. Get Ireland into the war. But, like, again, why bother? I have to show that I'm a real gamer and I know how to play Hearts of Iron, you know? You're certainly not watching my channel because of me, because I'm a very funny and handsome guy. Right? Right, we do this. 
you get first dibs on everything and then we need to create a proper flame tank for you as well a fast one and to ensure that we are going to say we only want you to use the proper flame tank just so we keep our speed up i'm just gonna take the very short range cast out of this this is like what's the point of using them it's just gonna reduce the range of our other cast actually that's a good idea i can just delete them i don't even have to send them over to someone what's your range 400 oh, no delete it there we go only good cast in this household one with range. Fall of Rome. Oh, come on. At least make this a fight, you know? Don't just fall over like that. Umberto II is deposed. I've never seen that. Good to know that Paradox at least didn't bind Benito Mussolini to that. So it always says Benito Mussolini. Like, for example, if somebody is defiant a little bit. Ah, we lost our front. That's why you're not attacking anymore. I, s I guess. I guess. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. I have a Rogan. You can attack now. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. But you do have a decent industry. Jesus, where did he get 500 factories from? We only lost 800,000 men, but you can start to feel it. We could get field hospitals. Or I just increase conscription law like a normal person. You're still in the Magino. Oh, those poor people. It's gotta be worse than Stalingrad. It's at least not cold, so there's something. They are ready. Chop, chop. We might completely die because of supply now, but I'm just gonna see if that works. I'm gonna give you planning and move out. Also, you can get all of the cast and all of the fighters. I mean, the fighters don't really matter. So I might as well split them up. There's no fighters on the enemy side anymore anyway. You can also get a railway gun. A super canon, a dreadnought Liebe. <sighs> the way that I know and love my Hearts of Iron, you know. I'll never use cheats again, okay? <sighs> it cost me six hours and a lot of sanity because I legitimately thought, oh god, the game has changed. I will have to relearn so much. But no, I can just keep on doing my same old stupid strats and it's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. Pushing is turning into a lot of red. That's okay, I'm just gonna stop pushing then. I can also get these guys over here. I can also give you truck truck supply. Might help a little bit as well. Yes, it does. Come on, you don't need to nuke anymore. The war's almost over. And look at this, it just works. That's my favorite bug fix, honestly. The fact that this just works. The auto assignment of planes. Oh, Germany. Yikes. Hashtag not my Reich. Although, I mean, I do prefer it. You get all those juicy buffs in EU4. Oh, come on. I know there's one. I want to replace him. All right, so I need to fire him and then I can get... There we go. Polish, Lithuanian, Czechoslovakia is gone. Okay. Now we only need Polish, Lithuanian, Lithuania. This was such a shite video idea. My entire Sunday I spent playing Hearts of Iron. I do hope the video is good at least. There we go. Do want to turn the Baltic into the Britic. Look at the beautiful borders. And it's not even my fault. This is my fault, but the rest isn't. Don't think this was called for. If you like challenges like this one, then you might also enjoy... This disaster save, where the Soviets controlled most of the world and we had to free Europe from the specter of communism. 